To make a folded collar, I start with a provisional cast on and then knit my ribbed fabric up to twice the height that I want the final folded collar to be. So I'm going to fold this in half up and inward so that I have my cast on tails and my working yarn tail meeting my beginning of round. And I can take off my beginning of round marker. I don't need that anymore. And this part is actually, it's a little finicky, but it's actually very easy. So you can tell which is your um, cast on that you should be working with by it's the longer tail. If you followed my previous um, provisional cast on tutorial, we have a shorter tail and we have a longer tail. So we're gonna start at that longer tail there. And with that working yarn, that's going to signal to us where we should um, begin. So we have the working yarn, which is a little bit of like a half stitch. These stitches are facing the other way. They're growing down. And so the ends of the stitches we are picking up from um, are going to look slightly staggered to what you are picking up from. So you just pay attention to the little pearl bumps here and you'll be just fine. So. I like to either use my left or my right needle to help me with this part. The very first stitch that you pick up is this little pearl bump right here. So you have your working tail and it's that pearl bump right next to it. So you pick it up onto your, onto your needle. It might be a little hard to get to. We are working into the provisional cast on. So if you can see that the pearl bumps are secured in that waste yarn. I'm going to knit those two together. And now my next little stitch here is this following pearl bump. I can kind of get that with my needle, put it on my right needle, making sure that I'm not getting any threads from my waste yarn hung up in there. And knit those two together. Now I'm coming across purl stitches. You can knit all the way across or you can knit in pattern. I like to knit in pattern depending on what I'm going for. So I'm going to pick up my next purl bump. Sometimes this one is easier to pick up with my left needle. And then I'm going to purl these two together. Pick up the next purl bump. And purl those two together. All right, so we're coming up to the end here. I have one more stitch. So coming up to the end, things are going to get a little bit tight. I'll put my yarn down so we can see. Things are going to get a little snug in here. So the very last stitch is connected to your yarn tail. So if you kind of pull on that, you should see a purl bump right there. And that is your last stitch that you work into. So picking that up and onto my needle. and purling it. The really fun thing about a provisional cast on is that you can unzip these crochet tails. So you should unzip starting from the longer side here. Take a say needle or a little pair of scissors and get um, into that last little slip stitch. Take that out and undo your last slip stitch like grab a tapestry needle spare knitting needle and you can start to pull your crochet chain and it should just pull straight out of your um, work it might snag a little bit on your yarn but just go kind of gently and then pull along You can just continue pulling. Um, you can cut it at different points too. It looks like my yarn is going to snag just a little bit over here so I might trim it and cut a little bit. Eh, it's going okay. So if we go on this side we can see that it's just going through these stitches here so if I kind of put them onto the um, cord it might go a little bit easier. So if you get a little snag like this, all you need to do is just trim your provisional cast on, just one of them, and that should free things up 
Ah, uh, maybe another one. It looks like my yarn snagged a little bit there. I might have split. I might have split my yarn at one point right in here. Um, and so you just keep keep a pair of scissors nearby for that. So to get this going again, you can just continue pulling. This is the um, important part of having a really smooth yarn is so that it doesn't snag like this, but it looks like I'm still getting some. So I'm just gonna make another cut and then I think, I think I found the snag there. Yep, that's where it was. That little thing. And I got another one. I was I was splitting my yarns, wasn't I? There we go. And once you reach the end here, you can simply pull that side. I'm going to make another little snip here and then pull from here. And that is my folded collar. So you can use the provisional cast on for lots of different things, but it's super great for this because then you don't have to do any counting. You can just, you know, pick up your stitches as they um, show up in your provisional cast on. You don't have to do any counting or um, sewing. <laughs> you don't have to weave in any ends. Well, actually, you do. You do have to weave in this little end, but that's super easy. You can just weave it in along your little um, seam there, and you can do that on later. It's pretty secure in there. There you are.